Hello, today I'm going to be talking about a new Lazy Cape design for the Electric Eel Wheel 5. So these are the bobbins that come with the Electric Eel Wheel 5 and the purpose of a Lazy Cape is to uh, take multiple strands of yarn typically and hold the bobbins in place while you ply them together onto the spinning wheel. So this is for plying yarn. And uh, um, some nice features of, of this uh, design are uh, the way you take off, add and remove bobbins is different than anything I've ever seen. So basically because these wooden pieces are um, really flexible bamboo, uh, you're able to just sort of click the bobbins into place like that. And I think it's faster and sort of easier than sliding a rod through the bobbin like a typical uh, Lazy Kate would do. Uh, I Also, um, on previous Lazy Kates, it became pretty clear you didn't want to just have the, the bobbins be able to sort of spin uncontrollably. So you have to have some kind of a braking system. And in the past, I had an elastic band that went over them and applied braking, but I came up with a clever new solution here. So basically, if you get a close up there, there's some felt washers that basically sit between the wood and the bobbin and they, they kind of scrunch it a little bit so that uh, the bobbins have a little bit of breaking uh, but not too much so it's I think it's a really clever design also it's hold, held together with just um, you know you undo four bolts really quickly and you can make it a flat design if you're trying to travel with it or something and you don't want it to take up much space so uh, I'd really like some feedback on design uh, also important to know is um, as it's designed currently, I have a, a target price. Um, it would be somewhere around $39. Uh, that would be for a version with a little bit of assembly required. So I'd ship it flat to keep the shipping costs down and also to uh, eliminate any uh, labor or minimize the labor on my end to ship it. But uh, you basically just have to put in, you know, uh, these uh, bolts down here and then there's a few more bolts here that you put but that would be all that would be required to assemble it uh, I think it would just take a, a few minutes I'd have some nice instructions with it uh, there wouldn't really be any tools required to assemble it so I think it's you know pretty easy thing for people to do and I, I kind of would like to see you know if people have ideas on how this might be improved uh, also you know would a $39 price tag for, for something like this be uh, something that you're interested in. Uh, once I finish the design, whether I uh, you know, ship it or not, I will release the uh, source files like I always do. And uh, people can make their own if they want. Uh, or maybe I'll be uh, you know, selling a version like this. But yeah, please give me your feedback on, on both the price and anything in the design you'd like to see changed. So thanks for watching.